While they're bulky and obsolete today, VHS tapes had been the top home video format since their introduction in the late 70s up until their decline in the 2000s. While you can watch a lot of shows and movies on streaming services, physical media is a great and dare I say better alternative for various reasons I won't get into. Anyways, while there's mostly no reason to buy VHS tapes today, there are some good reasons as to why we still love and collect them. The covers of the tapes are either cool or disastrous, the nostalgic previews and commercials they have, and not to mention that some tapes have specific content not shown in future video formats. For example, the theatrical cuts of the Star Wars trilogy were released on home video until their special editions were released in 1997. While they did get an official release on DVD as a bonus disc, these releases occasionally go for a decent amount of money due to their limited production. Another example would be Tiny Toon Adventures' Halloween special, Night Goolery. It originally aired on Fox back in 1995 and was released on VHS in 1996, and it remains exclusive to VHS to this day, unless you have a Hulu subscription or something. While most of the official release tapes have amazing cover art, another thing that stands out about specific shows and movies are the tapes themselves, their color. While they're commonly casted in a black plastic, some companies try to make them stand out by giving them different colors, either wanting to market a specific tape for kids, or make them more themed to the content inside the tapes. Regardless, the colored VHS tapes are interesting and are not very common to find compared to the standard black tapes, so in this video we are going to be looking at the colorful world of VHS tapes. Before we dive into some specific gems, let's talk about some various and one-off color tapes. I won't be able to list off every color tape in existence, so please bear with me. Let's start off with the less exciting tapes, ones where only the top piece was colored. One of the oldest releases of E.T. on VHS had its top piece in dark green. The CBS Fox release of the Rocky Horror Picture Show came with a red top. Monsters Incorporated is one of my favorite Pixar films. While I never physically had the film until I recently bought a Blu-ray copy, the original home video release of Monsters, Inc. is very iconic to me and for others. While the DVD version is better in every way, there's something that the VHS version has that the DVD doesn't. Not only was the clamshell transparent, but the tape itself was blue to match the film's logo. What's even cooler is that if you bought the UK release of the movie, the tape had a sticker label that had renders of Mike and Sully on it. Other shows and films that were released in blue tapes are Almost Hollywood, Waking Life, and I even recall VHS tapes of Thomas and Friends being in blue, likely to match Thomas's primary color scheme. A few shows and films were released on VHS in red tapes, like The Exorcist, The Hunt for Red October, and even a few Thomas tapes were casted in red plastic. Most VHS releases for Barney and Friends were released in white tapes. Other shows in white tapes include Hello Kitty and The Flintstones. Sky Dancers, out of all things, had two colored VHS tapes. One was light blue and the other one was pink. And finally, Ankle Biters, Scarecrow Slayer, and Bob the Builder were all released in yellow tapes. Now, you can't talk about colored VHS tapes without mentioning the orange Nickelodeon tapes. Nickelodeon is a very popular and successful children's network. The channel hit its popularity around the late 80s. In August of 1991, Nickelodeon started airing animated shows called Nicktoons. These animated Nick shows were the most popular shows on the network, and in 1993, Sony's home video division, Sony Wonder acquired the rights to release Nickelodeon shows on video and cassette. The cover for most of these tapes looked really good, with a few exceptions. And yes, the tapes were orange to represent the Nickelodeon Splat logo. I think just the fact that these Nick tapes were orange was really genius move. They were extremely easy to tell if that tape was from a Nickelodeon show. Sony Wonders' license would expire in early 1996. Later that year, the rights to distribute these Nickelodeon shows were given to Paramount Home Entertainment after Nickelodeon's parent company, Viacom, purchased Paramount Pictures in 1994. They even reissued the Sony Wonder tapes, albeit with some differences. But what was not changed after the license change were the orange tapes. For a long time, shows like The Rugrats, Doug, Ren and Stimpy, Rocco, and Blue's Clues would all be released in orange VHS tapes. It wasn't until late 2001 when Paramount stopped releasing these shows in those iconic orange tapes. Not so sure why they did that. Maybe the orange coloring was too costly to make, but we may never know. Which was a huge shame because now all these new Nickelodeon tapes came out with these boring, generic, unthemed black tapes, with a few exceptions. 
I always find it strange that Spongebob Squarepants never got any orange colored tapes for the most part. That show really deserved to have orange tapes made for them. To my surprise, only two Spongebob tapes that were released in black have orange variants for them. Christmas and SpongeGuard on duty. Unfortunately, these tape variants are hard to find. I once saw an eBay listing for a loose tape of SpongeGuard on duty, and I was debating on buying this even if it didn't have the cover. However, most parents will probably think that the price they got paid for was too much. While I didn't completely think so, since it's an uncommon variant, I understand why. These tapes go for way less than thrift stores. Why would I pay this much for a loose tape? I decided not to make the purchase on it, because what would I do with a loose tape? <laughs> I feel like the orange tapes look very nice in hand. Back when I visited my grandma and grandpa's previous home, they used to have three loose VHS tapes of Blue's Clues that were in orange, so it's really nice seeing these orange tapes again in person. Aside from the Spongebob tape being orange, the content in the tape itself is probably the same as the more common black tape variant. It's such a shame that there aren't that many orange Spongebob tapes. I think the orange really fits Spongebob as being a Nickelodeon show, and not to mention that I find colored tapes to be very charming. On the subject of Nickelodeon and the color orange, in Australia, Nickelodeon currently releases their shows on DVD in orange cases, including Spongebob. While it is a shame that Paramount stopped releasing orange Nickelodeon tapes in the early 2000s, at least we got a few orange tapes from that time. When it comes to the VHS market, most people will recognize some of the big companies like Disney, Universal, and Warner Brothers. But there are some video distribution companies that are very iconic in the VHS industry alone. Meet Lyric Studios, a home video distribution company that dealt with children's shows. While Lyric isn't well known nowadays, one of their shows is. Barney and Friends was created by Cheryl Leach, who is the daughter-in-law of the company's chairman, Richard Leach. Barney was a hit for Lyric Studios. They made a few other shows as well, but they were never as popular as Barney. However, the company was also responsible for distributing shows to a specific regional market. Some of the shows they've distributed are Bob the Builder, Kipper, The Wiggles, and the show we're going to be focusing on, Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales is a very successful and iconic Christian show from Big Idea Entertainment. The first episode of Veggie Tales was released in December of 1993, titled Where's God When I'm Scared? Earlier next year, Big Idea signed a deal with Word Entertainment to distribute the show to the Christian market, alongside their next episode, God Wants Me to Forgive Them. If you ever went to a Christian bookstore and saw any VeggieTales videos or DVDs, they were most likely the ones distributed by Word. VeggieTales struggled to find a mass market distributor, because most of them, including Good Times Entertainment, wanted to remove the religious parts of the show, which contradicts the whole point of the show. However, Big Idea was able to make a deal with Lyric Studios to release VeggieTales in the mass market. Phil Fisher, the founder of Big Idea and the creator of VeggieTales, thought Lyric was perfect for the job. Not only was Lyric a Texas-based company, but also their chairman, Dick Leach, was also a Christian himself and was okay with keeping the shows as religious themes. So, in 1998, Lyric Studios started distributing VeggieTales at Toys R Us, Walmart, Target, and many other mass market stores. They first started reissuing past episodes that Word Entertainment released, and they would later start releasing the new episodes a year after Word released them in the Christian market. Though during Lyrics' last years of being an independent company, they would reissue their mass market releases of VeggieTales in 2000. While some of these tapes were released in black like the previous releases, this would be the first time VHS tapes for VeggieTales were released in the green plastic. Word Entertainment would also follow, and released their VeggieTales shows in green tapes along with the original black ones. The content in both releases of these tapes are mostly identical to the versions released before, except for maybe their previews. They also originally had a sticker label just like they had always been. The green tapes would later be released with purple labels printed on the tape itself. In 2001, Lyric Studios was acquired by a British company called Hit Entertainment. All of Lyrics' creations and distribution rights were now owned by Hit including the mass market rights to VeggieTales. Hit didn't distribute a lot of VeggieTales tapes, but there were a few tapes. One thing that is very interesting about these releases is that the green color on some Hit and Lyric tapes are a lot lighter than the ones released by Word. After worrying that Hit wouldn't promote the show as much as Barney, Big Idea gave the mass market rights of VeggieTales to Warner Brothers Home Entertainment instead. 
This obviously caused a lawsuit between Big Idea and Hit Entertainment, but I think that lawsuit deserves its own video. Anyways, the Warner releases of VeggieTales still used the green tapes, and by 2002, every single new video from Big Idea was released in a green tape, except for some rare black variants. In 2004, the mass market rights for VeggieTales were given to Sony Wonder, after Big Idea was purchased by Classic Media in late 2003. The tapes were once again green, but this time, the labels were reverted back to being on a white sticker. The printing on the sticker label would either be in black or purple, depending on the release of that specific show. The Big Idea DVDs would also come in green plastic cases. By mid-2006, Big Idea stopped all the VHS releases of VeggieTales due to the format's major decline. And there you have it, a nostalgic look at some of the unique and charming color VHS tapes. And I didn't even cover everything. Color tapes technically live on with colored DVD cases, as well as the translucent blue cases for Blu-ray releases. I'm sure there are at least a handful of you who grew up with these colored tapes. And hey, check out all the cool content you can watch on there, especially since Disney Plus sure doesn't have the unaltered Star Wars trilogy. Most of these colored tapes I mentioned, you could still get these for cheap, as they were easy to produce. While it's an outdated medium by today's standards, there will always be some clever, clunky, yet lovable videotapes that show their true colors.